Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another fresh new video of PowerPoint School. In our today's tutorial, I will show you how to make this exact intro slide animation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's tutorial. Here you can see I have already taken a blank slide. So first, to change the background color, go to design, go to format background and from here, pick the black color, then close it go to home here we need to pick this plus sign holding ctrl shift from your keyboard drag it over our slide make it a bit bigger drag this yellow dot now pick this block arc shape holding ctrl shift make it like this place it over here i will resize it a bit after resizing this shape place it here holding ctrl shift drag this one to down and it will be duplicated to have another one press ctrl d then go to format from rotate select sleeve vertical then bring it to here press ctrl a to select all these shapes and to change their color from shape fill select the white one from shape outline select no outline what i'll do now select all these shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and bring the new one over here. Press Ctrl A to select all these shapes and press Ctrl G to group them together. After that, pick a rectangle shape and we need to cover our whole slide with this one. Then go to format, from shape fill, change this color to black, remove the outline, click on this small arrow and from format shape, we need to increase the transparency to 15%. Then close it. Now to decorate our slide, we have to add some tiny shapes. So first I'm picking this plus sign, holding Ctrl Shift, drag it over here, make it a smaller one. Go to format, from shape fill, I'll pick this color. From shape outline, remove the outline. In the same way, we have to add some more tiny shapes. So this is very simple, I will do it in fast forward, you just need to add the shape and from shape fill change its color and remove the outline. After that, what I will do, I will just place all these shapes here and there by making few duplicates. This is just to decorate our slide and we will have something like this. Now what we need to do, select only these tiny shapes and remember you need not to select the background rectangle. So just select this one, press Ctrl D to duplicate and we need to bring them over here outside of our slide if you see any shapes are overlapping you can just select and delete them from our slide now what i will do i'll select all these tiny shapes and press ctrl g to group them together as we have added all the necessary shapes now we have to add the text boxes so pick a text box drag it over our slide here i will add some demo text selecting all the text change the font to twc and empty increase the font size make it a bit bigger change the font color make it center how many text boxes you will add this actually depends on your needs so for this template i will add two more text boxes and here i am using some demo content i will make the font twc and empty Increase the font size, this time a bit lower than before. Make it bold, italic. Change the font color. Bring it to here. Holding the Ctrl Shift, drag this text box to down and it will be duplicated. Decrease the font size. Change the text. Change the font color. And place it here. So now we have all these three text boxes and I'll just make sure that all these three text boxes are in the middle of our slide. Now one last important thing is that select this tiny group of shapes, right click on them and select bring to front. So we are done with adding all the necessary elements, now you can go for the animation. Here click on animation pane to look over animation status. To add the first animation, I will select this first group from add animation. Under motion paths, select lines. You can see in the background the animation is going on so what i will do drag this red dot over here this is actually the direction of the animation 
From here, keep this on click, set the duration to and half second. Go to effect option and check this auto reverse option. Then press OK. Now we have to animate the second group. So select this one, go to add animation. From here, select lines, which is under motion paths. Do the same, drag this red dot to the same direction. And then we need to set a start with previous. Increase the duration 3 second. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option. From here, check the auto reverse option, press OK. Now we can add the animation on these text boxes. Select the first one. From add animation, under entrance, select fly in. From effect option, change the direction from right. Here, set start with previous, increase the duration 0.75 second, increase the delay to 1 second from effect option. We need to increase the smooth end and press OK. Select the second one, do the same thing. From add animation, select fly in, change the direction from top. Set a start with previous, increase the duration 0.75 second, increase the delay a bit more. Go to effect option, increase the smooth end, press OK. Do the same for the third one. From add animation, select fly in. Set a start with previous, duration 0.75 second. From effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. So we have added all the entrance animation. Now to have the exit effect, select the first one again. From exit option, we need to select fly out. Set a start with previous. Increase the delay 4 second. Go to effect option. From here, we need to increase the smooth start and press OK. From effect option, make sure it is selected to right. Select the second text box. Again, to add another animation, from add animation, I'll select fly out. From effect option, make sure it is selected to top. Set a start with previous. From effect option, increase the smooth start and press OK. To add the last animation on this third text box, select fly out again. From effect option, make sure it is selected to bottom. Set a start with previous. Go to effect option and from here, increase the smooth start, press OK. So that's all I wanted to show you today in this video. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see all the animations are working as expected. Here we have a very unique background animation scene and also the text box animations are working very smoothly. As always, you can download this template file for free. I have provided the download link in the description of this video or you can visit our website powerpointschool.com. From there, you can download the template file and also you'll get a written documentation for this tutorial video. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give a like for this video, share with your friends and if you're new to this channel, make sure subscribe, press the bell icon to get time to time notification from this channel. So that's all from this video. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.